There is a river of trouble this morning in Minot, North Dakota. The Soros River broke a 130-year-old record Friday, rising more than five feet above major flood stage, fed by heavy rains upstream and dam releases. Thousands of homes are flooded, and the worst is yet to come. Rain is forecast for today, and the river is expected to crest at more than eight feet. Jamie Yukus of our Minneapolis station, WCCO, is in Minot with the latest. Jamie, good morning to you. Good morning, Russ. The only thing stopping water from rising in parts of Minot this morning are these man-made dikes. As you can see, the rest of the neighborhoods here are submerged just like those traffic lights. And today, waters are only expected to rise. Surveying the swollen river, people in North Dakota know they're witnessing history. Nobody has ever seen water levels at this, uh, at this dimension. The Surus, known locally as the Mouse River, surged past a record set in 1881 and kept going. The water has risen more than four feet in the past 24 hours, and it's not over yet. If you look at that water now, those, I mean, those houses could be totally gone in a day. Residents watch in shock as their homes and a lifetime of memories are washed away. I worked every day, raised two kids by myself in that house. <laughs> You won't be out of our house to go back to anymore. <laughs> Amy Broughton is one of 12,000 evacuees, and like 90% of people in the flood zone, she has no flood insurance. I look here and I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm going to be okay. As of Friday, 2,500 homes were underwater, and as many as 5,000 homes and businesses could be lost by the time the water recedes. Around Minot, workers are scrambling to shore up levees to protect as many structures as they can. Despite the destruction and sea of debris, Mandy Moser is optimistic and hopes the neighborhood she grew up in will be restored. I will uh, come here to uh, clean up all the time afterwards for as long as it takes. As long as everybody is okay, it's okay. More than 12,000 people had to evacuate Minot. That's a quarter of the population here. Only a couple hundred now in shelters. That's because family and friends have let the rest of them come into their homes. Jamie Yukish of WCCO in Minot, North Dakota, for us this morning. Thank you so much.